New tonight, a Johnston County woman sent us this video you only see on WRAL, a school bus passing a tractor in a no passing zone in Smithfield. The bus even veered off of Brogdon Road in the process. Thank you for joining us. I'm Gerald Owens. And I'm Ashley Rowe. Tonight, we pushed the school system for answers about what exactly happened and if the driver is being investigated. WRL's Julian Grace joining us now live in Johnston County. Julian, what have you learned? Well, Ashley, I learned that the driver who captured that dash cam video, she's declined to talk to us on camera tonight, but she says she's releasing that video because she wants parents and the district to see what happened on this road. It's typical to see traffic running up and down Brogdon Road, but what you're seeing here is not typical. In this viewer dash cam video, which the viewer tells us was taken today, August 27th at 2.51 in the afternoon, you can see there is a backup happening on the two lane road behind a tractor traveling slowly and taking up much of the road ahead. You then see the driver of school bus 731 enter into frame. The driver switches to the non passing lane going by multiple vehicles on the road. We needed a more bus driver training. I feel like this is very unsafe. I don't think that I mean, look at that car pulling off on the side of the road. The viewer could not confirm if there were children on the bus. However, the camera captures signage of the side of the school bus that reads Johnston County and students just returned to the classroom in the district yesterday. We reached out to Johnston County Public Schools after hours after receiving this video. We wanted to know if the district has identified the driver and if this maneuver was standard operating procedure. A spokesperson shared with me the district is just learning of this video and currently working to verify if the bus belongs to Johnston County Schools. While parents, though, have questions of their own for the district. Ain't no telling what I say, but I will go up there for the safety of our children. For the safety of our children, once again, we do not know if any children were on that bus. We are asking those questions. And as you can see, parents have plenty of questions as well. For now, reporting live in Johnston County, Julian Grace, WRL News.